Alright, let's go back down here. What? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Really? Wow, I killed myself in the safety and comfort of my own home. Only I can do that. You guys are not capable of that level of stupidity, only I- What the f- Oh, I forgot to set my spawn point. <laughs> this is embarrassing, man. You know, this shit never actually happened, okay? If you guys say it happened, I'll deny it. But I guess you would have video evidence, though, huh? Sucks to be me right now. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to uh, get our silver equipment all made and hopefully fully upgraded. Um, and I'm also planning on building ourselves a loft. However, I notice we have some smoke accumulating up there. Is that bone mass that's causing that? Because I don't remember that being a... Oh, no, it's from this brazier. That's what it is. Okay, yeah, we might need to do something different with that. Maybe what we'll do is we'll move it up into the loft once we make it. And so the smoke, you know, just stays up high. Alright, so let's put Bone Mass back up where he belongs. So when I sit in my throne, he can worship me. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so yeah, so we're going to do the loft. And then we might... Um, I'm, I might do a, a bit of a tour later on in this episode. Of, um, you know, our, our community center and some of the other builds that the other guys have been doing. I've been uh, wanting to do that, but I've just been trying to coordinate with them. Because I don't want to do it without them. Um, so that might happen. If it doesn't, then, you know, we, we will definitely do it uh, very soon. Um, oh, look at that. There's a bird. We need him. I'm low on feathers. Got him. <laughs> All right. So I have quite a bit of silver. Uh, over 300 pieces and I've pretty much just spent the last, I don't know, two to three hours or so uh, smelting all of that and so we have um, we basically have 12 119 in there and then I have another uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 3 is 210, 206 more in there. So yeah, we have um about 335 or something like that. So, hopefully that's enough for us to make everything we need to make and fully upgrade it. We'll see. All right, let's start with our armor first. So we're gonna make the uh, the wolf hide uh, chest piece, and we're gonna make the wolf hide trousers, and we're going to make the uh, the Drake helmet. And then we're going to run over here, and we're going to make the wolf uh, cape. All right, where the hell is that at? Right here, wolf fur cape. This gives us frost resistance, as does the chest piece. Okay, so that takes care of the armor. Let's make this shield as well. Uh, we want to make the silver shield. All right, so now usually the way that this works is that the next level gear is one or two points higher than the maxed out previous level gear. So this chest piece gives us an armor rating of 20. And, oh, I guess it's even. And our, our maxed out iron uh, scale mail also gives us 20. This has a durability of four. That has a dura... Wait, what? No, durability of, of 1,600. This has a durability of 1,000. So this is actually less uh, in terms of durability. But we're going to upgrade it, though, and then, then it will be at least as good if as this, plus with more armor. In addition, this gives us the, the frost resistance. Okay, so let's put our, our wolf chest piece on. All right, let's do the pantalones next. So this currently has a an armor of 20. This has an armor of 20. 
This does not give us any extra uh, benefits. But when we upgrade, of course, it'll have more armor than the iron does. Okay, so this Drake Hellman is 20. The fully upgraded iron is 20. But again, uh, once we get it upgraded, it'll be better. And then the chest piece has an armor of 1. The troll hide has an armor of 3 plus sneak. So the troll hide cape is still, uh, you know, really good to, to keep if you... You know, if you want to be a little more sneaky sneak. But we want this for the frost resistance. And it looks pretty cool, too. Okay. So that takes care of all of our silver armor. We're looking pretty badass. All right, let's do weapons next. Uh, so we want to... I'm going to switch to the sword. So we're going to start using the sword as our main weapon. Um, and get it leveled up. So let's craft the silver sword. It's also very good against, you know, undead uh, like Draugr and wraiths in the swamp and so forth. Um, and that will replace our mace. So the mace currently upgraded does a blunt damage of 73. This does a slash damage of 75. So just this is actually two points more damage than the fully upgraded mace, except for, you know, it's a different type. Plus it does an additional... 30 spirit damage, which again is good against undead creatures and ghosts and things like that. Um, yeah, so we're going to start leveling, using that and leveling it up. Okay, let's do the bow next. Um, we're going to do the Draugr Fang. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the Draugr Fang. I already have a bunch of guck saved up for that. And the Draugr Fang currently does 47 Pierce and 5 Poison compared to the fully upgraded Huntsman, which does 51 Pierce. Okay, but once we upgrade the Draugr Fang, it'll, it'll be superior to the Huntsman. Uh, we didn't look at the shield. So the, the basic Silver Shield does 60 block and 40 block force versus... 54 block and 50 block force with the fully upgraded bandit shield. Fantastic. All right. So that, uh, let's put, yeah, no, let's put this here. We'll put this here. And we will retire this set of armor. I got shit all over the place. Um, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm just going to put that in here for now. We want to keep that with us. And then, you know, we can still use this, of course, as a backup set of armor, you know, if we get killed or something like that. So, very good. Um, Now, is there anything else I want to make before we start upgrading? It has been recommended to me to um, maybe try the at gear out. But I think that only goes to iron. It doesn't go to uh, it doesn't go to silver. So we'll keep that in mind. I'm not going to worry about that right at the moment, though. So yeah, I think we're ready to start doing some upgrading. Let's put you in there. All right. So let's work on upgrading the armor first. We'll start with the iron scale mail. And it's going to take more wolf hide. Oh, that's right. We wanted to make... Hmm. We wanted to make the wolf rug. And there was one other thing that required wolf hide, too. Uh, let's see. Furniture. So that requires four pelt. And the stone throne requires two more pelt. All right, so I'll tell you what. Let's let's switch gears here for a second. And let's go ahead and build our loft next. And then we'll come back and upgrade whatever we can uh, with whatever, whatever wolf hide we have left. And then obviously we're going to have to go do some more wolf hunting. Uh, we also need to kill a golem or ten and a werewolf or ten in the mountains as well. 
I don't know. I don't remember exactly what. Oh, shit. You know what I forgot to do, you guys? God damn it. I forgot to color our shield. <laughs> I was going to do that. Uh, it, it, I mean, it looks pretty badass even just as it is, though. I was going to put some color on it, but it's too late now. Um, all right. So. Yeah, let's uh, let's get started with the loft. So. Obviously, you know, we're, we're just going to put a floor in, but I, the thing we got to figure out is how we're going to get up there. Um, so, let's see, where does that want to snap? It wants to snap there. Oh, so, actually, I kind of like that idea because then the, the core wood log will act kind of like as a little bit of a, a bumper. So we don't accidentally fall off. We don't, we don't really have, yeah, okay. I was thinking about maybe leaving this open and putting some rails there, but we don't really have rails. I mean, we can kind of sort of make them, but, well, do I want to do that? That might be kind of cool. Because it's not like we can really put anything in the corner here anyways. It's too low. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll try that and just see how it, how it goes. So let's do over here. So I think what we could do to get up there is make this our access way up. Because we spend a little less time over on that side than we do on this side. And therefore, you know, we don't have like a stair in our way. Um, it looks like Astrid is on, so Astrid is who's going to give give us the tour. If we put that there, we could we can move the log over here. The thing is, is we need <clears throat> we need this stuff to stay within proximity, though. So so we might end up putting the log up here. All right, so let's go with you. This stuff is like way oversized, but it, you know, it is what it is. We want to do a core log for the rail? Yeah, I think we do. We'll do a shorty. Alright, so that handles our loft. Now we just need to get our bed up here and all of our other stuff. This we're going to take down. Um, hold on one second here. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's, um, let's take this down. And we don't need that up there any longer either. And what we'll do is we'll put the chandelier up at the very top here. Um, where the hell did it go? Crafting, building, furniture, here. How do, how come we don't have the two coal? What happened to the two coal? That's weird. What happened to the two coal? There should be two pieces of coal. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, then... Let's make two more pieces of coal. Uh, I have a full pile here, but I don't want to break the pile just for two pieces. All 
That was weird, man. I don't know. It's like the coal turned back into wood or something. I was just thinking about maybe doing something a little bit different with that too, but we'll see. I wonder if that's too high. What if we... What if we put a cross piece in here? All right. And then we'll... I think that'll probably work. Then the smoke just kind of goes up into there and out the, the vents up above there. That's the theory, anyways. Alright. Let's take you down. I'm gonna take all of this stuff down, too. Um, I want to... take you apart and replace you with a wolf rug. Now, let's build the stone throne. Uh, I need 20 more pieces of stone. So I've got 15 in there. Let's take this apart. Hold that back. Uh, what the hell? Uh, oh, do we have to keep a stone cutter around at all times for that, or is it just to set it down? Hmm. right about the middle of the thing. Alright, I guess we can't put that on top of the rug. So if that's the case, let's put the throne down here. I don't understand why that's breaking. Why the fuck is that breaking? Piss me off. Does it have to be on a stone floor? It looks like shit. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. going to I mean you could make an argument that you should probably have stone all around the hearth anyways it's just that the it still doesn't quite line up right though damn it Jim I don't like that Okay, well, um, shit. I think that, I don't know what to think. Can, oh, here, can we do this? Oh, no, not that. <laughs> um, can we cover this back up? Ooh, there we go. All right, you know what? If we're going to do that, then we don't need those pieces there. Okay, that works. Nice. Okay. So let's take then and put the bed up here and maybe put it 
down on the wolf rug. So we'll put the wolf rug, see this is right in the center here. And then we'll take the bed and put it up against the wall, like so. Nice, all right. And then we're gonna want to have like a little table next to the bed and maybe a bench over here. And we need to put our sitting log back. Let's put a table over here though. I don't think that's gonna contribute to anything. the sitting log well actually can we put it back here by the fire just on the other side of the that still work yeah that works okay all right now if we if we sit in our throne I want to put, uh, let's put a deer rug back in front of this. This isn't going to give us any more points, but it's more for aesthetics. Okay, let's see what we, oh, that's comfort 12. Okay, so that did not get, gain us anything at all. We're, we're still just at 12. Uh, which is weird because you'd think the stone throne would have added another point to our comfort level, but apparently it doesn't. That's really weird. I don't know. Don't know what to say about that. Is there anything else we could do? Um, I don't know if these iron torches do anything. We could try it. And... All right, so let's let's put one there and one here. Still come for 12. Okay, so that didn't do a damn thing. All right, I'm going to put some banners up. Just for aesthetic reasons, not because we need them for any particular reason. A red and white banner. Purple. Let's just go with blue because I like blue. And let's put a head above item stand. I think we want an item stand, right? Let's go back down here. What? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Really? Wow. I killed myself in the safety and comfort of my own home. Only I can do that. You guys are not capable of that level of stupidity. Only I What the fuck? Oh, I forgot to set my spawn point. <laughs> All right. God damn it. Uh, what does this do? That goes to a place called the shrine. I don't know where the hell that's at, but it's probably not it closer to our place. All right, I'll meet you back at our house. Watch me get killed along the way. This is embarrassing, man. You know, this shit never actually happened, okay? If you guys say it happened, I'll deny it. But I guess you would have video evidence, though, huh? Sucks to be me right now. All right, we're back in the base. Can't believe that happened. Actually, I can believe it happened. I do that kind of shit all the time, don't I? Um, alright, let's go up here and set our spawn point. Hello? Okay, spawn point is set. Uh, let's see, we were gonna... No, careful. Ju careful jumping off of there, man. Put all that shit back on. Where's my... Uh, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, where's my belt at? Okay, this is my head's chest. I think a wolf head would look cool.
Yeah, that works. Alright, anything else? This is an item stand. Green burning torch, blue burning torch. Mm, I don't know if I want to put those in here because they, they might mess up the ambiance a little bit. So, I, I mean, I think I have everything down that I can possibly put down to increase our comfort. What about coin piles? All right. Does this do anything different? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's a big ass pile of coins. Uh, okay, that, no, that, that's enough. <laughs> you can tell I have a lot of coins, huh? Uh, did that change anything? Nope, still comfort 12. Okay. All right, well, I think that's, that's good enough for now. Um, I was kind of hoping we'd, you know, increase our comfort level a little bit more, but it didn't seem to, to help that, but... It looks better now, and we have, um, I'm always picking bone mass up. You know what? It's just because his head is so big. He's got a big head. Why don't we put, let's put Eichther's head over there instead, and we'll put bone mass's head over on this side. He's an ugly motherfucker anyways. Um, there. That's better. Okay, so at least we kind of clean things up down here. I don't think this needs to stay here, I think. Uh, in fact, yeah, we just we just needed to have a stone floor underneath it. That's the only deal with that. I just... That wasn't clear to me at first is all. Mm, crafting and do this. And just set that there. All right, so... What we're going to do now is... Oh, shit. But I, I must have loaded those back up with more coal. I don't remember doing that, but apparently I did. All right, let's put uh, this back in here. This can go back in here. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Somehow I ended up with extra iron nails. I don't know how or why. Did I forget to do something? Where did those iron nails come from? Oh, they came from the Raven Throne. Okay. You know what? If we had a Stone Throne and a Raven Throne, would that add more stuff to our, our dealio? Comfort 12. Nope, it doesn't change anything. Okay, well, we'll keep it there anyway. Because why not, right? I gotta be careful coming down those stairs, man. I keep hurting myself. I'm too old for that shit. Okay, I'm going to connect with um, John, our, our server owner, and we're gonna go on a tour for the second half of this episode. So give me a second and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm here with um, Astrid. He's our server owner. Say hi, Astrid. Hi, Astrid. <laughs> um, and we got a couple other uh, friends uh, on the channel, too. And uh, so John's going to take take me around and show me all the builds he's done, the community center, and uh, we'll just kind of do a little bit of a showcase. So take it away, buddy. All right, here we go. We got, uh, let's go to the trader. Okay. Actually, I need to re uh, repair here real quick. Okay. I just finished doing a, a few more upgrades in my li my base here. I saw your, uh, your loft. That's pretty neat. Yeah. I still can't get above 12 rested bonus, though, so I don't know what else I need to do. I'll look at it and see, see what you're missing. Okay, yeah, that'd be great.
So yeah, I, I have never actually been down to your area since I started this whole series. So this okay, is a, okay. never even seen it once. I'm looking forward to it. I've seen some of your screenshots though, and it looks pretty damn good. There it is. Wow, so, look at uh, this place, man. This is in the plains, right? Yeah, yep. So, uh, I'm, direct, direct, I'm directly south of you. Okay. Uh, uh, so wait, is this in the plains or the meadows? I think it's in the meadows still. But this is the meadows. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Anyway, uh, so there's a wall all the way around with four entrances. Uh, right. One of them, one of them is uh, actually for the dock, which is, I guess I'll show you the dock first. Hey, can I ask you a quick question? Why does this stone look different than this stone? Is this a, like a different kind or right. something? Yeah, this right here is just like a platform type stone. Um, instead of it's like a concrete slab, so to speak. Is that a mod or is that just part of the game? That's part of the game. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, those are like the foundations, right? Yeah. Oh, right. I got right. you. Okay. Right. Yep. I'm, I got you. Okay. And then on the wall, you can go all the way up here. You can walk all the way around this thing. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. You got crinolations and everything, man. This is neat. Oh, there's a wolf out there. Yeah, that's my pet wolf. Oh, that's your pet wolf. Oh, okay. Several hundred times. I kill wolves everywhere. Yeah, I need you or Joe to show me how to do that because I never mess with that. You got a bonfire here. Is this kind of like supposed to be like a lighthouse kind of idea? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. One on each side. Yeah. That's nice. The dock is. The dock. Oh wow, it's a fancy dock, dude. Nice. You got two long okay. chips. Yep. Well, we, we found out, me and our crash, we found ourselves in a situation where uh, we we both died. And it's like, you know what? But what we were able to get back. Yeah. Was, you know what? I'm going to make another boat just to set us up. Oh, this looks great. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then you got some okay. crafting stations over here for repairing and all that? Yeah. And, it, uh, you know, it's it, they're not leveled up. It's just regular. Old. Yeah. So you can just repair. Okay. Right, cool. Um, okay. These doors, um, how did you make these? Oh, these are dark wood. Where do you get dark wood from? All right, so um, in planes, they have the uh, tar pits, and uh, you can find all the tar in there, and that's what you need to make to make, uh, make those tar pits. That must be doors. new, because I don't remember that from before. Well, yeah, it came out maybe a year ago. Okay, yeah, because I haven't played for about two years. Yeah, it's been a good year. Okay. And now uh, this is Crush's place right here. Oh, neat. I what? Think this gives what's you the? Is is this a? What is this? A bathtub? That's a hot tub. Oh. So you should be able to make that, and that might bring you up to your 16 level. But in order to get the 16, in order to get the comfort level for this hot tub, you got to put the firewood in the back and get it to uh, a bubble. And then you'll get the comfort level. You got okay. Say that again. I'm sorry. Say, do what now? All right. So when you place the when you place the hot tub down, right by itself, it will not give you a comfort level. But in the back, there's like a little stove here. Oh you yeah. Gotta put, you got to put wood in it, and then when it starts bubbling, which is immediately, then you'll get the comfort uh, level from oh, the spa. That's cool. All right. So I I cannot make this stuff yet. So what what do you think I'm missing to be able to do it? See. I'm assuming that would fall under like furniture, right? Yeah, it's under furniture. Yeah, I don't, I don't have it yet, so I'm yeah, missing you something. Need, you need tar. tar oh, yeah. tar. Okay. All right. Well, we'll be looking out for tar then, for sure. Yeah, that's all. All that's found in the plains, and you need poison resistance when you find it. Okay. Uh, Looking good, man. Rough. What is? Uh, you know what? I didn't look. What is the comfort level in here? It's uh, 16. It's Damn. Okay. So what else besides the hot tub is giving that 16, would you say? Is it the hearth, maybe? Uh, the, the hearth will give it to you, the hot tub, this concrete chair. I already got the uh, concrete chair. Okay. Do you have the wooden chair or the concrete one? I've got the stone thrown. Okay. All right. All this right. table uh, is different than what I have, too. Yep. Yep. This will give you a higher comfort level. Okay. But, uh, so I basically looks like hard. I need the hot tub, the table. Does the treasure chest do comfort or not? Uh, they do not. Okay. They do not. I've got everything else that I'm seeing in here except for those two things. So, yep. and well, and, and the hearth, hard. rather. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, you should be able to make the hearth. Yeah, I can make the hearth. I just, okay, okay. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So. Nice. All right. And, uh, 
a little garden area right here. Yep, yep. Nice garden area. You got little bushes around the house, different colors. That's very nice looking. So, so is it, this is like your your first build, right? Or your main base on the on this server? Yeah, this is the very first build. Right. And me and Colt decided to make it a community center because we built a. I built another place in the plains. Right. Our place. Okay. So now I want the community to come over here and use whatever they want. And then this is my. Place. It's your house. Okay. Which is a similar design as. Right. Oh, I like what you did with the the X's here. That looks nice. So you also have comfort level 16. Yep. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I need to do a hearth, a hot tub, and this table, but I won't be able to do that until I get tar. So we'll just have to right. be looking out for that. Nice. And then uh, this right here is the crafting area, both kitchen and everything else. So in here is where the repair stations are. Okay, yeah, oh, these are all got the, all their upgrades and everything. Nice. Yep. And then upstairs is the inventory. I'm missing the tool shelf to get my workbench up to five, so I'm. I don't know what else I need for that. I believe that's obsidian. I. Oh, you know what? I have that. Let me look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's obsidian. Four, Forge tool. Oh yeah, I do have it. Yep, because I, I just recently found Obsidian. I just, okay. So I'll make that when I get back to the base. Nice. Okay. And then uh, upstairs, the, or all the storage. All the storage. Oh, and you got it all labeled? Wow, this is really nice and organized, dude. Yeah. Look very good. So, and this is the community so, center for just anybody that needs this, shit, right? We took out, yeah, we took out what we wanted. The rest of it is for the community. There's tools in here. There's all kinds of stuff in there. So... All we, you know, all we ask is that you just, you know, if you have something you don't want, just just put it in its uh, appropriate container. Yeah, I've got some stuff I can bring over here. Yeah, yeah cause we don't need anything over here. You got a lot of plain stuff, but I, I don't. I'm not going to take that until I actually go get it, at least for the first time yeah, yeah, myself. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's good though. Okay, cool. And then uh, if you go to this door, you got the kitchen. Oh my God, it's bright in here. I need sunglasses. <laughs> And then this is this is where we put this is the awesome. food and, and the potion. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this is amazing, man. I love it. Those uh, iron racks are pretty damn big too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I I, I, I can, I've been able to make those for a while, but I just haven't haven't you know so. Right, right. Yeah, they're nice. They're just big. Lots of fermenters. Oh, this is really good, dude. Nice build. Varg, have you guys seen this place? Oh, Joe must not be on. Joe, well, I think he went to the store with his bike. Oh, did he? Okay. And we also got a little cartography table here, so let's see where... So how do I show you my discoveries? Do I have to do my own table? All you have to do is hit this box. Oh, this and box. It'll, yep, and it'll copy okay. you know, what you So found. I just added mine now. And then all I have to do is hit the Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this map. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah. We're going to yeah, I've been, uh, all the stuff that you see to the east is, is me, but it's all been on the sea, well, for the most part, I haven't been on the land a lot. Good right. lord, that's a lot of shit. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. I mean, we got, uh, well, we got our, our kilns and our smelters, we got one, uh, two of each, and these are just, uh, well, as you can see, the normal smelters. Right, right, okay. And then, uh, we got, like, our little... We got some, uh, you honey got over here. quite the apiary going on over here. Yeah. Well, at one time, this is where we had our wolf and uh, boar farm. Right. And uh, we got to a point where we were just we had meat coming out of our ears, so I got rid of it. So then uh, I'll show the out. Well, yeah, I'll show the outside of the, uh, the base real quick. Okay. Now what you see out here is. Is all is on all four sides. Well, all three sides, not Good. the dock side. God, how many wolves do you have, dude? <laughs> hey, there's a lot here, and this is not all of them because some of them just ran off and they're they're everywhere. <laughs> how do you uh, get them to be two star? They just you, you just have to find them. Okay. You have to find them, and they normally show up. They well, not normally. They only show up at night. Right, along with the werewolves. Right. 
Oh, I need so that bird. It takes a lot of patience to find these guys. So, okay, so tell me the basics. How do you tame these guys? All right, so basically what this is what I do, okay? So I dig a hole. Right. You go to the snowy mountains, and I dig a hole that's about, the twice, as, about twice as deep as my character. Okay. And then what I do is I find a wolf, and I let him chase me, and I jump in the hole, and most of the time he'll go, he'll go in there with you. Right. Hop out as fast as you can, throw yep. some meat in, in there, and walk away. And it takes literally half an hour before they're tamed. Now, you know they're taming when you see a yellow heart uh, flowing above their head. Okay. Periodically, it'll float up. You know, and like I said, it takes a half an hour. What kind of meat do you give them? Just anything? Uh, anything but wolf meat. They won't take wolf meat. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Sure. Now, why does uh, this wolf have less health than the other ones? Because they've been fighting. These are our protectors for the perimeter of the base. Oh. So whenever we have events that pop up, these guys go and do it. Oh, nice. Okay. How do you get so, them to do that? They do it on their own. Oh, so, okay. So, you know, once they're tamed, you, you have an option. You can have them stay. Uh, and I believe Wolf is the only one that can do this. You can either have them stay or you can have them follow you. So if I go to this guy, and they'll just follow me everywhere. And then he just helps protect you when you're on about? Exactly. Are they, um, oh. is their AI, like, really stupid, though, and they're they prone to get killed, or how does that work? Uh, it's, it's, it's okay at best. Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. Um, they, they, they're only, the, these guys are not good as far as the planes, or right? you can't put them, you can put them in a boat, but as soon as they see a sea, bird, sea serpent, they're just going to jump out of the boat. So okay. it's, it's hard to keep these guys in the boat. So they're mostly um, good for guarding your base from the attacks? Yes. Hey, yes exactly. Okay. Are there any other critters in the game that are, are good for taking with you that without um, getting killed? Okay. So, um, you have this. Well, actually, no, there's not. Um, you have the locks, but those things are huge. Yeah. They just destroy you, crap, so. And can you get them to follow you around and protect you also? No, but you can ride them. You, you can oh, like a, a rideable them. mount, right, okay. Correct. Nice. But the problem with that, or at least a year ago, is uh, if they get um, if they get panicked against this, or if they become became, uh, panicked, Panic, they'll just go out on their own, even if you're on them. I don't know if they've changed that or not. Okay. So these so. wolves, um, do they attack like like deer and stuff or just yeah, they'll hostile? Go anything. So they anything these deer over wolf. here are just out of their aggro range that yeah, I take Yeah, it. they're out of the range. Okay. Now, if it's another wolf, they won't attack them, but anything else, they'll attack. Oh, okay. So let's say I'm taking a wolf follower up in the mountains and then I get attacked by a wild wolf. My wolf they're won't help me? Help you. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what about a werewolf? Uh, that I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't think they'll go after them, but uh, I think that's just a get. Did I get that thing or did it fly away? I think it flew away. Okay. All right, cool. So, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to try that. Um, I can definitely see the usefulness of having these around to guard your base. And oh, yeah, they don't, they won't run off. They'll just kind of stay in the area then, they'll, huh? They'll just stay here. Now, sometimes what they'll do is if, uh, if there's an enemy close enough, they'll chase after it, and they'll keep on chasing it, and then you'll lose that one wolf. But, you know, that's, it's not rare, but it doesn't happen all the time. Gotcha. Okay. So. So as far as things like boar, if I tame those, I just use veggies, and then I just can use them for meat and leather, right? Correct. Okay. I, and, uh, I, I've never actually done that. I know you can do it, but I've just never actually bothered with it. Because usually by this point, I've got stacks and stacks of boar meat, and I don't need the leather anymore. So, yeah, I you know. know. I, I'm, throwing, I'm finding myself throwing away leather scraps. Right. Just like, too much of it. So this is our portal room. Okay. So we got all door, which is the first merchant. And yep. The new merchant, the new merchant Hilder. And then, then all the bosses. All the bosses, too. okay. There's motor. Yeah. And then Yagler. Now Yagler takes us to our new house. Okay. Um, before we go through that, what does shrine mean? Shrine is the area where you hang up all the... Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Blocks. Yep. Sure. Okay. And then right over here, I got my farms. Well, you want to see the stadium? Or? Yeah. Let's go take a look at the stadium. All right. Well, I'll show you the farm. First. You, you show us whatever farm. you want in whatever order. Okay. okay. Let's go to Lot's farm. All right. So this one right here is specifically for uh, for leather and uh, meat. And 
and these guys cannot get out. Now I got two up there at the very top. Uh, you have to go through these doors over here. Let's see. Are these wild or tamed? Those are all tamed. Okay. So, so what exactly do you do here? Nothing. Just feed them periodically and let them make. Right now, I'm just. Is that a cloudberry? Yeah. <laughs> I think you picked it up. Here, let me bring it to feed these guys real quick. Okay, but uh, do you do you eventually harvest these guys? Is that what the deal I is? Do. Okay, and then how do you show. replace them? These guys, these guys won't die. These guys are here, here for good. Oh, oh, so they're here, they're you're breeding them. Correct. Oh, I get you. Okay, yep. I got you. Here, and they come down here. Right. Right, and then they uh they hatch up. Now, if you look, you're gonna see the little fish on top. Uh, I do the top little puffer fish. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So whenever you get stung by them, they poison you, and um, that's what happened. But this guy's not getting poisoned for something. How the hell did you put this together? <laughs> is it, is this a mod or is this just normal game mechanics? No, 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 no. This is normal game mechanics. This is not a mod. Wow. How do you get the puffer fish alive? Um, you'll catch them uh, in the ocean. Yeah. And then uh, you just put them in your inventory and do whatever you're going to do with them. So those puffer fish are still alive, though? Yeah, they're still alive. Huh. Can you eat them? Probably not a good idea, huh? Yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. Okay, so how do you get them to hover hover like that? They're, they're not. So, you know you know that little, uh, there's a little furniture thing where you can attach a cup to a table? Yes. You that little square piece? Uh-huh. That's what's up here. Oh, item stand, okay. All right. You got item stands up here, and then I just put the puffer fish on the item stand. And so this lock here is supposed to be getting poisoned right now, but it's not for some yeah, reason? for some reason it's not. And I'm trying to push him and he's being well, he's definitely heavier than I <laughs> Okay. Wow, that is cool, fun. man. So you've just looked this up. Uh, it, it, what's it called? A lox meat farm or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Oh, neat. But the guy that made this, he's got he's got farms for every damn animal. Will you send me so, the link to, to him? I want to check I some sure of that will. stuff out. Yeah, cool. Sure will. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I raised the walls here because when these guys get pissed off, you know, they'll break everything. So yeah. they break the ground. So, all right. So, how do you tame a lox? Same process as the uh, wolves. As, as the wolf. Yeah. Um, but it's it's more it's much more of a pain in the ass. Uh, so you dig a big ass hole, you lure yeah. them in it, and then you throw them what cloudberries or something? Yep. You throw them cloudberries, and you just the same process. It takes a half an hour. When you see the little hearts popping out, that means they're being tamed. Okay. And then after half an hour, they're tamed. Oh, we're getting attacked by certlings. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go to the portal. All right, cool. And then we'll go check out the stadium. Yeah, let's go check out the stadium. I saw your screenshot of that. It looked really good. Yeah. I just hope it's enough. For so we'll go to the stadium. I need to set a portal at my place to come directly here, so I don't have to go through the trader. Yeah, let me know what you call it. Set it up yourself. Okay. And, uh, little audience, audience stand out here. <laughs> oh, this, this looks awesome, fight. dude. Wow. This is so cool. Have you guys already beat Yaglith? No. Oh, what yet. What's that, that skull? That came from, I pulled that from one of my, uh, one of my other. Uh, oh, one of your other saves? Okay. Yeah, my, my other saves. Yeah. And I just threw them up there. Oh, so, nice, man. You got the serpent's head up here, the uh, sledge. So, you, yeah, so, so okay, so you can choose which weapon you want to fight. Oh, that's neat, man. It's like right. a gladiator oh, kind of thing. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Basic, uh, I think what we came up with is uh, the, the participants are going to come up here and look at the skivvies. All right. And uh, they'll start, they'll pull weapons off whatever weapon they want to use off the wall, and they'll just go until, until the other one's dead. <laughs> You fight know, to the death, and, huh? Yeah, to the death. And then we're going to have other events too, besides just that. Right. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to do like 
a little PvP session or something. That'd be that'll be cool. All right, looks good, man. Where are we at? Are we in the plane? Oh, no, we're on some kind of an island. It looks like. Yeah, we're south. We're southwest. Yeah, we're southwest of uh, of our continent. Wow, that's a that's fairly unusual to find an island. Yeah. This size. I, I mean, it's not so small that it, you can't do anything with it, but it's not so big that it's like a continent. Right. Nice find, dude. I got dude. lucky when I found that. Yeah, this. yeah, for sure. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So, what else we want to look at? Oh, we'll go look at the plane face. And then we'll just go to the Yakima portal to get there. Okay. Plane face right here. Nice. Wow, oh, this is fancy, man. You got your windmills for grinding your grain and stuff. Yep. And we got our uh, spinning wheels over here for making bread. For making, okay, yeah. And uh, we grow here. like flax and barley and stuff here, right? Correct, correct. Wow, wow, this is, this is so cool nice. Pitch, huh? Where did, oh, this is new. I've never seen yeah, this glass stuff before. Okay, that glass you get in the snowy mountains. Okay, so you go in those caves. Oh, right. You, you were eat. telling me about that. Yeah. You go in the caves and they got crystal, they got crystal uh, things in there. You just break apart and pick them. And okay. Makes your glass. The pots and pans, is that just a new upgrade? That's a new update for the kitchen, yes. Okay. And, uh, push the, oh, this is really neat. Dude, you do good work, man. I got to say. Thank you. <laughs> so good. Okay, yeah. and you got your barley field out here. Yep, and this is the comfort room. What's our comfort? Good. 16? It's, okay. It's still 16. Is 16 uh, the max you can get? No, you can get, I think, uh, 20. I think it's 20 or 21. Okay, but we need mist lands and all that for that sort of thing, stuff? Well, that and also there's seasonal items that you can get that only come up during that season, like the maple. Uh, the maple only pops up in June. After June, it disappears. You can't get it until next June. Okay. So, I thought every nice. map had one permanent maypole on it, though. Uh, so, only during that time frame. Uh, oh, okay. So. Wow, this is a really nice place, dude. I mean, I could retire here. <laughs> That's funny. And then this is the uh, crafting room. Yeah. Uh, the building is the same building as the one as the kitchen. You know, obviously. The nice kitchen oh, I just there. learned a bunch of new stuff by standing up by your artisan table. That's awesome. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, you did great work, man. Then, okay, uh, cool. Come out here. This takes you out to the plane. And then right behind, uh, come out here. That farm, that locks farm that I have is going to be over here. Because if you're not close to that locks farm, you have you have to go, you have to uh, port back and forth to work, forth to work. Okay. But if you're next to it, it'll work constantly. So I'm gonna bring it over here and put it right here. Oh, I got so you. This okay. Work in progress right now. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And then uh, right behind our house, if you look behind the house, you'll see Yagliff. Oh, yep, I see it. There's it. There he is. Okay, we'll have to be kicking his ass pretty soon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let me look and see where we are. Okay, so you're still on our main continent. You're just way to yep. the northwest. Yep. Nice, okay. Is, uh, Have you seen the sealed tower? Seen the what? The sealed tower. Uh-uh. Okay. Is that what this thing is? So, this one right over here. All yeah. these things out of it. All right, so with Hildur, the Hildur, the new uh, the new, uh, new vendor. Yeah. Anyway... In order for her, her to open up more things for you to purchase, you got to complete quests. This is one of the quests. Oh, okay. So, That's cool looking, you know, man. Each of the quests that you complete, it creates a new event, random event. So, yeah, I haven't done any of that, so I'm interested to see how that works. Right. But uh, apparently, 
as you complete the quest, you got to carry this chest uh, back to her. So. All right. Yeah. So I let's go take a look at her. I've never seen her before. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I'll show you the dock, which is still on this. Almost there. I just gotta build the dock point. I have some people. And right over here is the dock. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I can finish this off if I can get a boat in here. All right. Mm -hmm. We're gonna dig out what man crush have got to dig this out because there's if you look at the map, you'll notice that we're in the Gulf area. Yeah, I and see that. Little, yeah, that little river is very shallow, so yeah. we're gonna dig that out. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah. so this is the this is the plan. Looking good, man. Okay, so what I, I, I still I've made all my silver gear, but I haven't upgraded it yet, so I gotta get that taken care of. And then uh, after that, I should be ready to go do motor with you guys. Okay. So it'll probably be another episode before I'm ready for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll show you Hilder now. Yeah, let's go take a look at Hilder. So was Hilder added with Mislins? Because she wasn't in the I game when I used to play. Correct. I actually did play Hearth and Home a little bit, but I didn't do like a full playthrough of it. Yeah, that came out. I don't know, six months or so before Miss Lens actually came out. Mm. Okay. This is the Jogger Village, so we took it over. Okay. Oh, there's a locks right there. Yeah, well, that locks is a part of Builder, just like with the... Uh, oh, builder. like, uh, yeah, okay. okay, I gotcha. Where's that fucker at? He's right there. He's right there. Come here, asshole. He's not interested in us. Right over here. This oh, is cool. yeah, look at this. This is cool. So what is Hilder? Is she a dwarf also? <laughs> um, so All right, a sparkler, an iron pen, an empty vessel waiting to be filled with firewood and kindling. Does that give extra comfort? I, you know what? To be honest with you, I don't know what any of this stuff does. So. Okay. And then a barber kit. So I guess we could change our hairstyle if we want to, or I something. I do know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you can make a barber station here in this land, I think it is. Um, the way you can change your appearance. Nice. She looks like a blue dwarf, maybe. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what she is. She doesn't have a beard. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's awesome. That's okay, fun. cool. And can we sell just normal jewels and stuff to her like we can with Helder? I'm assuming so. I've never, I've never really uh, 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 listened to her, interacted with her. Other than right. You know, just, so, Blay Bar loves you. Helon loves you. Okay, well they love me now. Great. That's awesome. And that, yep. And that is that's about it. Is she always in the in the meadows then? She's actually uh, she's she's actually yeah yeah I'll answer question. She's like kind that, of yeah. in the she's meadows and the that. plains. Yeah. Uh, what is that build I see over yonder? Is that one of your places? That is the locks farm. Oh, that's the locks farm. Okay, gotcha. Yep. yep. Yeah, all right. Cool. All right, let's, um, if you don't mind, let's make a portal at your, at the community center, and we'll just call it, call it OG's place, because I have a, I use a different tag called OG's home. Okay, let's do that. And then that way I can just go straight there to get, get to these other places. Set it, set it up first to say OG uh, or OG home 
and I'll go through it and then change it after that to OG place if you don't mind. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Matter of fact, I'll put it right. I'm assuming you have all the materials for that, right? I do. Okay. I do. Yeah. By this time, you should be like swimming in that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this looks really good, though, man. Thanks for showing us. It's awesome. Right. I'd love to see other people's builds, and uh, you do really good work. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Uh, did Crash help you with most of this, or is this mostly you? Mostly me. Okay. He helped me gather materials, and yeah. I, just, I just went nuts building. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, that's capital OG. Yeah, uh, yeah, capital O G H and then lowercase O M E. And then just change it to O G place with a capital P after I go through. All right, thanks, bud. Appreciate you showing that. Hey, no problem. Okay, so what, yeah, uh, let me get every, uh, fully upgraded in my silver stuff and then we'll, we'll take on motor. Okay. Might be able to do that tomorrow if you're around, or if not, uh, you know, we should be able to do it on Monday if you're around. Yeah. So I'm off work that. for Memorial Day, so. Yeah. Okay. I just got to set up a new. Uh, I changed the name of this one already. So. Okay. Yeah. Let me get another one set up here. Just got to get all the stuff for it. And two of those, ten of these, and some hardwood. Uh, oh shit. Oh, actually, you know what? I got hardwood out here. Alright, I'm just gonna put that one right over here for now. Miscellaneous. So, did you do OG's place or OG place? OG place. Okay. Yep, that worked. All right, cool. All right, man. Well, thanks for showing us that. That was awesome. I love it. Yeah. That's Fantastic. Good. Good job, All right. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to work on uh, getting the rest of my stuff upgraded and I'm going to almost certainly going to have to go back up into the mountains and hunt some more wolves to get out the rest of the pelt and I'm going to look for these caves oh by the way John where do I find the caves is there any particular place to look for them uh, they're completely random they're just random wild. okay yep. okay um, apparently from what you guys were saying I really lucked out in finding <laughs> that area with all those silver veins huh? I can't believe you did that because I, we, did. we had to go all over the place oh my god them. okay I, that was completely random but I, I pulled over 300 silver out of that place and and oh goodness, I know all in the same area it was, it was amazing so I guess I lucked out with that deal um, but anyway all right, guys. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, the plan for the next episode will probably be for us to take on motor. We're going to do it in multiplayer, but th that makes the boss stronger, too. So it should be a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you guys then. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.